Welcome to Off the Wall, a video series about the hat life. Alex from your Gorham Brothers virtual styling team here again today with a tip for all of you stiff hat lovers. This is the one for the people who like those wide brims and definitely like those stiff, hard feeling hats. This is gonna help you out big time. Let's get right to it. Okay, so for those of you who own our hats that are a little bit more stiff in finish, I'm talking about those of you out there that maybe own the Billy or maybe you've gotten the recently really released Beware right here. You know that these hats are very stiff right out of the box. I mean, very much a firm hat. It's something that when you put it on, it's not always the most comfortable. For example, I had this one for about a week, leaving a little bit of a line. Totally natural. This doesn't mean it's a bad fit. It just means you have to break it in. Now, I made a video showing you how to stretch open a hat a while back. You can totally use that. That's one way to do it. A little bit more of a natural way to do it, especially if you have some time, maybe you're working from home, you're not on Zoom meetings, you can throw on this hat while you're working. That's the best way is to break it in naturally over your head. Now, it takes a little longer and obviously it doesn't always feel awesome, but I'm gonna show you a quick little tip and trick to make that process a little easier. Just have a nice, easy, more natural break-in period on these stiff hats. Again, this is for something a little bit more of a stiff finish, not something like the Dean the Butcher, which is a soft finish right out of the box. Should feel great right out of the box. This is for those stiff, very high starched fedoras. Let's do it. Okay, so as far as tools that we need, it's pretty simple. If you have a steamer, that's really the only tool you need because all you need is your head. Remember, the best way to break in a hat is to use your head. A stretcher is great, don't get me wrong, but nothing beats your unique head. The hat will feel amazing when it's broken into your exact head shape. So that's what we're gonna use. Our head, steamer, and a little bit of time too. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to get the maximum tension on your hat to break this in. You want to get the most pressure on the contact points of the hat, which are generally the front end of the hat and the back end of the hat. Now, if you can see, the way I'm wearing it right now is very much tilted on a back angle. You can see it's on a back slant. That's not giving it the most tension. Our hat, our head is widest from front to back, right? So we're gonna wear this hat a lot more flat and what I call even, so just a flat angle. And you're gonna get a whole lot more tension on this because the widest part of our head is now fully in contact with this hat. Now this is not comfortable, it's tight right now, I can feel it squeezing. I'd rather not be doing this right now, but this is the angle we need to wear this to get it to be perfectly comfortable at any angle we're gonna wear it at. Again, if you know you're gonna wear it at more of a back slant generally, it's totally fine. Still you can do this just to soften this up and break in this front and back area. So once you know that angle, that's half of doing it. Now let's get to the other part. Okay, so if you don't have a steamer, it's totally fine. You can use this very flat angle to break in your hat. Again, it's not gonna feel great, but over time it will stretch in, it will soften up and break in, I promise you. It's just gonna take a little bit longer. Now, and how long really depends on the hat itself and how much time you're putting into it. Anywhere from one to two weeks is a good rough estimate, depending on how much time per day you're doing it. And I would try to break in your hat every single day until it's softened up on you. But if you have a steamer, here's a shortcut. So, generally with steaming, I advise you to go very easy on felts. Less is more. In a stiffer hat though, you can actually give it more than typical. I'm literally gonna throw it on the steamer and leave it for about a good 10 to 12 seconds. That's a long time for a felt hat to be on this. See this red line on my head? And once I feel it getting nice and soft, take it right out. And we're gonna immediately put it on that flat angle. It's gonna feel softer. And now you're gonna feel it soften up and start to, or excuse me, stiffen up and start to come in a little bit on your head. It wants to retract to that point, but now it's meeting the resistance of my head and it's breaking in. Okay, so we've just steamed the hat and then thrown it immediately on our head. Now what? Now you gotta wear it. It makes no sense to steam it and just throw it on for five minutes and say it feels great and take it off. I will wear it for at least an hour and don't think you need to steam it every 10 minutes. Give it an hour at least between steam sessions. 
I would actually only do no more than one or two steamings per day on a stiff hat. See how it breaks in over time. Again, we want this to naturally be breaking into our head, not be manipulated by steam. We want it to mold to our head. There's no shortcuts to that. It's just like a pair of work boots. It can be a little tough on your feet. This is a little tough on my head, but I promise you, the end of one, maybe two weeks, it's gonna break in and feel great. It's just a different way to get to that perfect hat. Stiff hats, people that are addicted to them, y'all know. Once it breaks in, there's no hat that fits like this. I'm about a week and change in on this guy. Can't stop wearing it even though it doesn't feel the best right now, but I know in a week, it's gonna be the best fitting hat I have. So, if you have any questions on this, please reach out to me on Goron.com. You can open up that little chat box on the bottom right, or hit me in the comments of this video, or obviously on Instagram as well. As well. Until then, and see you next time. Keep living that hat life.